Welcome! In previous video we have seen how to train a detector and a classifier. We have trained a detector for detection of knots on wood and a classifier for recognition whether the knots are intergrown or encased. We have seen that information about all recognized objects, their size and position or classified class, is stored in a structured storage called context. The context can be used for more advanced processing. In this video we are going to use the context and work with code to see how to implement more complex logic and how to pre-process images. As an example we check the wood again but now we would like to classify only the big knots and count the small knots. For that we need to change the processing flow and add code module blocks. We add two branches. In one branch we classify the big knots and in second branch we count the small knots. In the right branch we use code to keep only big knots so the classifier classifies only these. In the left branch we keep only small ones. Additionally, we use code to count the small knots. During the processing, both branches run in parallel and their results are being merged. Let's see how to use the code module. We create a new code. Packard Vision enables you to interweave code through the processing flow or even training. This makes the software really flexible and powerful. Your code can reach all information from the processing through a context. The context contains the processed image, detected objects, classes of the objects and so on. You can check the context in Flow Inspector to see what information it contains. The code can amend the context or add items into the context too. For example, a code can pre-process the input image, store temporary images, add, delete or change detected rectangles, change classes and so on. The code is written in programming language Python. This is a real programming language with huge ecosystem of libraries. Therefore, you can even communicate with your robots through network, send data to other external systems or anything that comes to your mind. So, for example, let's do some image preprocessing. I do some edge detection with OpenCV. Now let's check the results. These preprocess images could be, for example, taken as an input to other training and processing. Okay, but we don't really need this now. What we want now is to filter out big or small knots. So let's keep only big knots. Let's say knots bigger than 50 pixels. We simply filter the detected objects from previous detection. These are stored in the context under the key detected rectangles. We filter the array of rectangles and keep only these which are bigger than 50 pixels. Let's check the results. And really, we see the small knots are being skipped and the big knots remained. Now we want to classify these big knots. First, I turn on the code we have written now so it is being executed in the processing flow. In the classifier module, I choose the model which we have trained in previous video. As we can see, only big nodes are being classified and small nodes are correctly skipped.
Now in the left branch we want to count the small nodes. So again we similarly add code which keeps only nodes smaller than 50 pixels. Let's check the results. And yeah, the small ones are being kept and the big ones are being skipped. And again we activate the code. Now we want to add a code which counts the nodes. And to visualize it we label each node with its number. Now I paste the code which I have prepared. The code simply iterates through array of detected rectangles. For each rectangle it writes sequence number into the image at position based on coordinates and size of the rectangle. So let's check how it works. The small nodes are counted and their sequence numbers are written directly into the image. The big nodes are skipped because of the preceding code which filters them out. The code works correctly, so we activate it. Now let's merge both branches. The contexts of the branches are merged automatically. We can add a module which uses the merge context and could do some final processing. This can be again an arbitrary code, but we keep it empty and just check how the contexts have been merged. Let's see the results. Everything works as expected. Small nodes are being counted and labeled and big nodes are being classified. Let's check a few of the images. Yeah, we can be satisfied. It works well. This is quite a simple flow, but for complex flows it is handy to use Visual Flow Inspector to see what is in the context and how the processed image looks like in each step of the processing. We see what changes each module performed in the processing flow. And we can check the context too. In this video we covered how to use code and how to create complex flows. Check our next videos to see how to use other features of Packard Vision. Thank you for watching.